In this video, we will add some additional rules in the larger CSS file to make it display the menu items horizontally. I will turn off small emulation and widen the screen. Let's also open the larger CSS file. If we are going to have a horizontal navigation, we do not need a hamburger button. So let's display the button as none. Now let's display the unordered list as a flex item. This gives us a left aligned menu bar. We could also justify the content to flex end if we wanted a right aligned menu bar. You're the designer, you get to choose. If you look closely, you see these black dots. Those are the default dots that are part of our list items. They were there in the small screen, but they were off screen so we couldn't see them. So let's return to the small CSS file and set the list style type to none. This next part represents good design. When the user moves their mouse over a menu item, we will lighten the color so they know it's a clickable item. I'm going to use an RGB alpha color of white at 20% transparent. Now I hope you're wondering why there is a double CSS reference when changing the menu to flex. Let me demonstrate that. Let's try a CSS reference to just ul.menulinks. When the menu is closed on small screens and we widen the page, everything works fine. However, when we open the menu on small screens and then widen the page, the menu items are still stacked. That is because the class of open is still added to the unordered list. We can see it here in the inspect tools. The simplest solution is to have a reference for the menu being closed and the menu being open like this. Then either way, the unordered list is displayed as flex for large screens. Let me now show you the power of using RGBA for the active menu and the hover color. Let's say our client wanted a blue menu instead. So let's change that here. On small screens, the 20% black still looks good for the active menu. On larger screens, the active color also works. What if we wanted a white menu? Now that looks terrible. Let's change the button color back to black. We could change the color of the links to something dark like navy. We could change the current menu text color to red. Oops, that doesn't seem to be working. That is because the color blue up here has more CSS specificity, so it overrules the red color. If we added ul.menulinks in front, then the specificity would be higher and the red would start to work. All these rules are still working in the larger view. Let's just change the hover color to something like orange, and now we have a hover response. Hopefully, that helps you see how good CSS rules can allow you design flexibility.